Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and today I'm going to be revisiting an old video I did when I was in my level, uh, 20s? Level 20-something, I think? It is going to be on how to plan an attack, because uh, in watching the way people attack me, the high levels and whatnot, it's like they don't really plan out exactly what they're going to do, and I don't have a perfect process. Honestly, I've been losing a bit recently in my attacks, but I partially blame that on my trying to attack level 55s and up. But hey, go big or go home, right? But anyway, I'm just going to go through and f uh, analyze a couple bases and go through my process when I look at a base to figure out whether I should attack her or not. Something that's changed since my last video is that they do have the infamy divisions now. So like with my division, I get up to a 60,000 metal bonus. So looking at this base, which is level 42, it is it, the reward possible the possible reward is 55,000 metal adding the 60,000 for destroying it 100% and i have over 100,000 metal that's not too shabby so of course the first thing i do when i spawn into a base i look at the level of the person level 42 so i'm like okay i have a pretty good chance of defeating this guy how much rewards can i get if even if he has, even if he has weak defenses, if he only has 10,000 metal, I'm probably not going to attack, and there's no point. Why waste my oil for so little return on metal? But he has 55,000, which plus 60 is going to be over 100, so I'm going to take a little bit bigger of a look at this. Now, looking at how his torts are, are splayed out, I notice he doesn't have any howitzers, which is good. He has barrage torts. His barrage torts are kind of spread out. They can cover each other, so I'm going to have to attack from one side, then the other. His landmines really mess that up. Uh, down here, I can see there's a little bit of a weak spot. There's that one railgun and the machine gun turret, which are pretty easy to take out, especially with this platoon that I'm using right here, the uh, M270 platoon. If I wanted to use my Zeus platoon, I could do that as well, except for he has Abrams. Abrams are generally bad for a Zeus platoon and spell trouble. But in looking at this, I would attack this base. I would attack this base, I would come in, well I would spawn in down here, fend off the defending forces, and then I would work my way up, take out the railgun and the machine gun turret, then work my way farther to the left and come up and just attack these turrets in the order they go. So that's pretty straightforward. There's really nothing nothing weird or wonky thrown into the mix. So looking at this guy, level 47, so it could be something I could take, could not be 75,000 metal. So I'm gonna give this one a good hard look. Immediately I see the minefields. Three of them are infantry, that's awesome. That They basically don't exist to me. Uh, there are two anti-tank ones, but they're just kind of out there. They're not really that big of a deal. What is a big deal, though, is the railgun, howitzer, salvo turret, all bunched up into one area. However, the howitzer is not boosted. So that's good for me. Would I really want to attack this base? Eh, maybe, maybe not. He does have Abrams defending. Uh, he doesn't have... Oh, no, yeah, so he's got one group of mortarmen. Helicopters aren't that big a deal, because I got Zeus's that take them out really easily. But if I were to attack this, what would I want to do? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So my tanks could easily absorb the fire of the howitzer. What I would probably end up doing... I would probably end up spawning down here. Coming up, taking out... These guys, sequen sequentially, will take out that guy first, because I can take him out and be out of reach of the howitzer. Uh, then I'd have to come in and take out the ra the railgun and howitzer next while absorbing fire from the machine gun turret. This is where I would take most of my damage, but I would still have enough left to take out these two machine gun turrets, no problem. Uh, I would probably attack this. There's a very, very good chance I would attack that but it's a lot higher risk than the last base I looked at. So, coming in here, level 49, probably going to be a lot harder than the other two, 45,000. So, eh, the rewards maybe don't outweigh the effort put in. 
looking at it, uh, we have a higher level barrage, or salvo turret, higher level salvo turret. A, okay, that's not a solo boosted railgun, so that's not that big of a deal. Uh, then we have a howitzer over here, a railgun, and a machine gun turret up north. Uh, the north side really isn't that much of a thing. Now what I'm looking here that I like, I really like what I'm seeing right now, is that there are no heavy vehicles coming out of the the war factor. Oh, well, no, there's rhinos back there, but no Abrams. Abrams are what I worry about. Uh, there are mortarmen coming. Uh, there aren't any hinds coming, just separate groups of, of cobras. <clears throat> what is troublesome to me here are the landmines. The minefields are a little bit rough. There's not really an easy way to come in and pass through the whole base. Maybe at the top. The top, maybe. Let's see about the dead zone. If I can get into the dead zone right here, I should be okay. But what platoon do I want to use for this? I'm actually going to attack this. Hmm. I'm actually pretty tempted to use this one. But I feel like the M270s could work out pretty well, too. I'm going with the M270 platoon. Just for funsies. I don't use this very much. So pardon me if I'm a little bit rusty, but we're going to go for it. We're not going to use airstrikes. I don't, I don't feel like I have to use airstrikes. And to use them would uh, just increase my... My, my cost, because the, the flak turret's going to take a toll on them. Alright, we're going to let our Zeus's take care of these bad boys. There we go. M270s, back off. Get out of here with that limited AI. All right, all right. We got trouble, trouble brewing. Backing out of there. All right, all right, all right. No biggie, no biggie. We just lost a little bit of health. We just have to get take care of those helicopters before they reach the Zeus's and kill them. That's the issue here. <laughs> okay, now the rhinos are going to be coming. Oh my goodness, that's a big group of rhinos. That's okay, though. We're going to kill him really quickly. Now, the issue here is we have three minutes to wreck this base. I may not get it 100% just because of how slowly these units move. But we're going to come close. We're going to come close. If they could hurry up and kill that last thing. Okay. I am going to be micromanaging, selecting units one at a time. I'm not going to be using select all because that would select my Zeus's. Which I, uh, okay, okay. I guess we're doing this. Come on, come on. Are you guys still in range? Guys, are you for real right now? Go, 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 go. Okay, so yeah, I, oh my goodness. That's a failure. <laughs> that is a huge failure. Oh my goodness. Oh man. My Abrams Limited AI took them off. 
Well, I guess the, the one was being hit by the howitzer. He moved forward a little bit, was being hit by the howitzer. So he went after the howitzer. So I just went in. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have just gone in. I should have planned that out much, 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 much better. But it is what it is. I mean, we, we lost. There's no way I'm getting... I'm getting 70% out of that. No way, Jose. <laughs> so even a well-planned attack can still go poorly. But I like to think my reasoning was sound while attacking that base. But I still have a little bit of tweaking to do with the changes to the howitzer and salvo turret. I just, I just gotta look at them. I just gotta watch what they do and learn their, their new damage patterns. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching me get my butt whooped, and um, <laughs> hope you learned a little something. The first two bases, I am very, very certain I could have defeated fairly easily. That base, like I pointed out, I was very, very restricted on where I could come in with the landmines, and I just got funneled into destruction. That's how it was. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, 